Hey there, my name is Frank the Pegasus and you are about to watch a blind playthrough of Until Dawn. That means I knew nothing about the gameplay, I knew nothing about the story, um, I really only knew that this was part of the horror genre. I hope you enjoy my genuine reactions to the story as it unfolds, and if you like watching blind playthroughs live, you can follow me over at twitch.tv slash frankthepegasus. My heart is already pounding. <laughs> oh my god. So nervous. <laughs> don't, don't look at me. <laughs> Alright, new story. Let's do it. <laughs> butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. I'm so anxious. <laughs> that movie was really, really messed up though, if you guys remember. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Something tells me they're not going to make it easy to choose your actions carefully. They're probably going to make me really anxious and then have me choose actions very quickly. <laughs> oh, Is it snowing God. inside? That doesn't seem good. <laughs> Tutorial. Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Uh, Alright. Hold R2. There we go. You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet, you better even, <laughs> I bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike! Is he okay? You don't seem okay, bud. You cool? You have a little too much to drink? Hello? You sleepy? Are you, you're not dead, right? You're not dead? Are the glowy bits things that I can interact with? Yes, okay. Does this mean I can go upstairs? No, it means I can go outside. No, just kidding. We're locked in forever. Cute! Uh, use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. Thanks! I just figured that out, game. But I appreciate it. Oh. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Hey, Hannah. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. She's taking her 
first journal. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! That was really mean! Use the right stick to choose. Choose what? Wake Josh. Find the others. Uh, I guess we'll wake Josh up. He seems right here. Josh. It is Grant. Yeah, I was thinking oh. that too. Fuck. Stop backseating game. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? Han. Around, I don't know who she is, but she sucks. You jerks. You Hannah. are jerks. Hannah. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Press the correct action button before the timer runs out. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> Or don't immediately. <laughs> oh. Fast, safe, fast, fast. Go, fa go fast. Yeah, go fast. You're gonna be, you'll be fine. You might break a leg, but you'll, you, you, you're young. You'll be great. Footprints. Footprints. Follow the footprints. Okay. This is already so terrifying, y'all. <sighs> I feel sorry for Hannah too, Django. Wrong footprints. Oh no. Oh, butts. Jesus. Fuck. Shit. Is the whole game like this? Damn it, Hannah. Use the touchpad as shown. Interesting. I've never used the touchpad on the controller before. Hannah. Okay, all right. I need a second. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <gasps> I'll be fine. This is fine. Yeah, the footprints are cool. The game is really beautiful. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this beautiful, but it's really Hello? pretty. Hello? Can I just go back? Like, our sister died. It's cool. We'll move on. We'll move on. You know, we'll get over it. We'll send the police out in the morning and, like, maybe they'll find her frozen dead body. <gasps> ah! Jeez, what? What the hell was that? Yeah, what the hell was it? Is there a dragon in the woods? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, it is Hannah. Hannah. Oh, thank God it's Hannah. Hi, Patrice. Hannah. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah, back. Yeah, please do. Please for the runnings.
I'm scared. I'm scared. begins there are a few things I need to make sure you understand you see no one can change what happened last year the past is beyond our control you have to accept this in order to move forward but there is freedom in this revelation everything you do every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future I want you to remember this I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Okay. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, it makes me happy or I feel uneasy? I feel like the scarecrow part makes me uneasy, but I feel uneasy anyway. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Um, definitely the scarecrow. On my own? Say we, for example. No. No. <laughs> oh no? Why not? I'd be terrified. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? Um... In the pi- I don't- I guess I'm not sure if it's in the picture necessarily. That's interesting. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time for now. But please, I would like you to contemplate what it is that it's missing from that picture. Hmm? The thing that's driving your fear. We need to unwrap it. Don't you agree? But the next time. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul but they still haven't found mission. them? No. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Mm -hmm. um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to 
address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget. Party right? like we're fucking porn yeah. stars or party like we're fucking porn stars? Oh, we're immediately back to being a spoop case. Perfect. I'm doing very well, Kavina. Thank you so much for asking. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Okay, all right. Hello? Someone there? Uh, why? Why is it so terrifying? Objects that glint can be inspected. Okay. The gate's busted? Climb over? Really? Climb up. Got it. Uh, we can be safe on this one. Let's be safe. Be safe, girl. Oh. You're doing great. You're doing great. She said talking to herself, giving herself a pep talk to press the right buttons at the right time. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Huh, the past is beyond our control. Bags here, where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Uh, very much gonna snoop. Aha! Look who it is. <gasps> Chris. Why? Why is it like this? You scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are Are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from here. Chris doesn't look like a teenager. There's something over here I didn't touch, so I'm gonna go check it out. That's it? It's just locked? Okay. Okay. Playing into the horror movie type, teens never really look like teens. That's true. Most of them don't look like teenagers. He especially doesn't, though, right? I'm fine. Everything's fine. Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. I'm trying. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> Alright. Here goes. Am I supposed to shoot stuff?
I don't want to shoot stuff. Okay, it's fine. This is fine. We're doing it! Like a pro. Yeah, I'm a gamer now. I'm a sh I'm a sh I play shooters now officially. I mean, usually because they're like 25. Foof. I don't think so, girl. I know, right, freakish? It's freaking me out. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. No, 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 no. I am not killing that squirrel. Your ass just got sacked. <laughs> I do like his pun. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. You already knew that. Josh wanted us to keep it locked and keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. That's creepy. It is indeed creepy. Wait, what was the other feed? It doesn't go back to the other feed? Wasn't it like inside? Weird. Who's paying this power bills? I mean, they apparently bought a mountain. doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, and I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. Aww. I mean, I became friends. That's so cute. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day <coughs> decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, Mike's new girlfriend. Trusting. Okay. 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 All right. Hi. Nice to meet you, Jess. You seem cute. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Time to meet and greet. It's interesting that it constantly is. <gasps> what the hell? What the Jessica, hell? Hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? What is this bullshit? <laughs> hey, Nerd, how are you? It's good to see you, Violet. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh You're gonna make some popcorn? My Please do. God. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. <laughs> so muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Um, I'm gonna explain. Mike and M split. 
word together. Whoa. Drama. Drama! Quick cut, actually, and out I'm in. Oh. I like her. Alright, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? Mm. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Hey, Matt. No. And nice where's to meet you. Boy when you need one? Okay. All right. We're Matt now. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. Mike is the worst. You got it. Michael. You yeah, really Michael. Should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost should have seen your faces. I'm sure mine was Michael, great. <laughs> Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go out in the woods. I'll show you harmless fun. Rip your dick off. The spirit of things, seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. <laughs> Mike doesn't want Frank to keep him alive. I'm threatening him. Back off, Mike. Michael, you gotta step off. Yeah. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh... What? Hey, could you? Take these the rest of the way. The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Emily seems kind of like a doofus. Oh, she just full named him. Um. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Mike's just down the road. So, like, she's gonna be fine, right? Famous last words. She's gonna be fine. All right. Fine. She's gonna be fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. The relationship is Thank messed you. up, for sure. Oh, hi, Ashley. Has a crush on Chris. I'm going to tell Chris. He'll be delighted. He has a crush on you, too. Why are you not touching faces to each other's faces? Touch your face to his face. It's good. It's a good time. And before, this is a jump scare. I'm bracing myself. Oh. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! Oh! I knew it! I knew it! Oh! Whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Hey, okay, well, man, I'm so, so mad. sorry, Ash. Dan. We, I don't know what's going on down there. No, I feel like Matt, it's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just no. Also, she's cute. Um, oh, Ashley's uh, really cute. Sure. You say so. Um, go ahead and check your phone. Welcome back, Dominic. Oh, <gasps> you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hill of Matt's Hey, liquid. 
What choice do Thank I, you. a stumble young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? <laughs> I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, uh, how do I, like that, right? Oh, yeah, got him! <laughs> hey, you know that? I feel like a pro at shooter shooters now. They're cute! Hey! Oh, snap! Don't hit the chickadee. Hello. Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike. Boom. <laughs> 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 I'm a pro at this, clearly. Uh, sometimes nothing, doing nothing is the right thing to do. really wants you to do that there's like all the vibration things happening oh oh but here we go you actually like Emily and Ashley Emily seems like a jerk to me but Ashley's really cute done done city so did I go down I don't think so <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Uh, no. No. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was... Making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. 